I think two buzzwords that you need to remember is awareness or education and orderliness, keeping things in order. Managing a business is a very complicated task. It has several moving parts and this entire journey gets very difficult if you're managing a small business. The entrepreneur has to deal with several challenges associated with accounting, finance, marketing and whatnot. So on today's episode of Finance Made Simple by Canara HSBC Life Insurance, we are going to have a conversation on this topic with Pastala Sameer, who is the company secretary and head of legal. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Akshar. Thank you so much for having me here. Appreciate your time. Uh, so my first question to you is that in the current macroeconomic environment, a lot of small businesses are struggling, especially around finances. So what are some of the challenges that you have seen them face and what would be your advice to them? Sure. Uh, so firstly, Akshat, I feel that starting your own business itself is very difficult. And somehow these two years of Corona has given people opportunities and um, a lot of ideas to do that. So it takes a lot of courage and a lot of self-motivation to, you know, just keep going and be there. And a big thumbs up to all those people who've been there and done that, because I think it, 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 it's a lot. And uh, so while these entrepreneurs are very passionate about their craft and about the trade that they do, uh, somewhere I feel that they uh, also need to learn about financial management. And while it may sound like a big jargon, financial management, what I really mean is, uh, financial management would probably include, you know, keeping your books and understanding your balance sheet and, you know, going to the bank and asking for the best credit, seeing how it helps your company, even understanding your, um, uh, you know, your books, etc. is very important. So all of this includes financial management and while it may, it's definitely not an easy cakewalk, but it's as important as a cake on a birthday table. So I think it's really important that people need to learn what financial management just speaking from my experience also, so I decided to make a shift from my corporate career to starting my own set of small businesses. Okay. And at the start, I never even maintained an account. So I completely get the point yeah. that we probably ignore mm. finances, focus mm. too much on growing businesses. Mm. So if you have to create a checklist as to when someone is starting a small business, from a finance point of view, what are three or four key bullet points that they should remember from finance? Sure. So I'll share that with you. Uh, I think two buzzwords that you need to remember is awareness or education and orderliness, keeping things in order. Uh, it's very important, the mantra you're, as a small business owner, your mantra should really be uh, keeping a positive cash flow. And what's a positive cash flow? Is when your income is more than your expenditure, right? You have more money in your pocket than you're spending. And that is something, and of course, as you start, it'll never be so. You'll take, every business has its own gestation period. Um, and as you start, you may not have a positive cash flow, but that's surely and slowly, you'll definitely reach there one day with discipline. Um, so there's certain do's and don'ts, Akshat, if I may share. Um, the very first one, like I said, is knowledge, uh, understanding of what finance is all about. So it's, it's a very scary word for some people. Uh, especially when you're not from a finance background. But I think if you want to start your business, the first and foremost thing is understanding what is my balance sheet? What is my balance sheet trying to tell to me? Uh, where do I go for the best banking services? Uh, what is it you know, that the bank is offering me and how can I best use it to my uh, benefit? Uh, and you know, with this virtual world, there are so many online courses available which can help you understand the very basics of finance. Second one is to maintain your statements. Not easy again, because you've never done it in the past, but it's important that you maintain your, uh, in, you know, your incoming and your outgoing of expenses so that you can keep an eye as to what is happening with your money. Again, uh, uh, you know, with the advancement and so many small businesses coming up, you can either take a help from a professional who would do it for you. Uh, you can also do some, you know, buy an off-the-shelf software who can help you keep your books uh, in order. Then a very important tip, and I, that's a don't, is never mix your personal expenses and your professional expenses and your business expenses. Keep them apart. Uh, because you, then you'll never know how much you've eaten into your business uh, expense. You can never keep a tab and it'll just help you monitor better. It'll help you plan better. So you need to keep your personal and your uh, professional businesses separate. The fourth I would say is about 
a bit of financial planning very important again you know do a quarterly planning if not monthly uh, see how much you have today see how much you want in the next month for you know next quarter for all you know you may not that need needed that much so you probably you can you know invest in that next thing next big thing that you want for your business and that is what we help you understand between the must haves and the needs right so you may may not want to spend it but financial planning is very important not very difficult of course and lastly i would say uh, you know because i'm from the insurance industry there is something we have just known as a key man insurance it's a concept wherein you can buy an insurance policy and uh, it helps you in the unfortunate event of a death of a business owner uh, wherein it covers your business your employees whom you hired and uh, the premium that you pay for key man insurance is a business expense and can help you in your tax planning so these are some tips that small business owners you know while focusing uh, on their passion of their craft should also keep in mind thank you for this insightful conversation i really hope that our audience has benefited from this brief chat and understood more how to manage small business finances thank you so much for joining us and we will see you the next time Canara HSBC Life Insurance Promises ka partner